Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video and this is Dominant Industry Inks Comparison number three. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the description, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomare River. This is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomare River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad. These are the pads that I actually use when I'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink. So they have these little squares up here. Uh, I just use that because it's a good guide for me when I put this very thin sheet of Tomoe River over, I can actually see squares. So it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the the other thing that i also have is a i have a bottle of water plain water and uh, i dip my nib in here so for consistency i use the same fountain pen or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3D and it has a number eight size Bock nib, which I can unscrew and you can see there. So it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size Bock nib and the idea is I want to have consistency with the writing sample so I use this I dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it that's uh, how I do my ink swatches so I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here is a Dominant Industry limited edition uh, 25 milliliter bottle and it is Colt Pens Dawn. Now you can see that this is a little bit more of a purplish ink through that bottle until you see that wad of shimmer there. So you can see that this is going to be a shimmering ink and I'm just going to shake it to disperse that a little bit. And then you can see it's a little bit more glittery in there. But let's have a look at uh, the ink. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a shimmer ink. Uh, and I typically find that the uh, dominant industry inks are on the drier side. Uh, and also when they have shimmer, they tend to be like with most shimmer inks, a little bit more drier. So this is quite a faint uh, color. So we'll do uh, a second pass over the top half, and that will just show the difference between a uh, wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. Uh, but this is a little bit more of a sort of a mauvey uh, colored uh, ink uh, from Dominant Industry. So this is Dominant. industry and it's simply called dawn and i'll put uh, uh cult pens in brackets there so that you know it's a limited edition ink the next ink here is uh, another dominant industry it's the pearl series pearl means shimmer so 25 milliliter bottle and uh it is snow filled 
Uh, now, it's a beautiful blue ink, but then what's that? It's a little bit of silver there. Oh, yes, that's a lot of, of silver. So if I just shake that uh, off camera a little bit, you're going to see there that it then turns into this very, very uh, light blue uh, with silver particulate. So I think uh, what we'll do now is uh, try and get this onto the page. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And again, this is a very light color. And th this seems to be, so far from what I've seen with Dominant Industry, uh, what they like doing is that they tend to like really faded colors. Now, we'll do a second pass over the top half, just show the difference between a wet or board or dry. Well, I know I tuned it, but I think you're going to be able to see that there. Uh, there is a, a huge difference uh, between uh, the two uh, areas there. So this is dominant industry. Uh, and it, it's called Snowfield. Uh, but that does have uh, quite a bit of glitter in it. The next ink here is a limited edition Dominant Industry 25 milliliter bottle. And it is a Colt Pens exclusive called Harvest Moon. And it's a dark ink, but then you have a whole load of shimmer again. So this is one of the Pearl series of inks. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is quite uh, a watery ink. Uh, very, very um, watery. Uh, almost no color to it. Um, I'm going to do a, a second pass over the top half just to show the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib. Uh, I'm actually worried that I might not actually see the um, ink color uh, in the writing sample, but I'm sure we will. Um, if you look at the other uh, faded inks here, uh, you do still get to see that. So uh, I think we will see it here, but let's have a look. So this is Dominant Industry. Uh, and uh, this is called Harvest Moon. And it is a, a Colt Pens uh, exclusive. And then the last ink here, just for comparison, is the standard uh, Dominant Industry 25 milliliter bottle. And it's Earl Grey Tea. And if you know me, I do like my tea. Uh, I'm British and I do like my Earl Grey tea. And also Lady Grey, which typically is an Earl Grey tea. Uh, but with more citrus uh, elements in it, more lemon and orange zest uh, in in the tea with the bergamot. Uh, and I would actually say that this is probably more uh, lady grey colour rather than earl grey. Um, earl grey earl gray is typically more greyish, I would say. And that's pretty much how uh other ink uh manufacturers like diamine have actually labeled a uh, gray ink or gray we'll do a second half over the top half just so different between a uh, wet or broad or dry or a narrow writing nib so this is dominant industry and uh, it's earl gray tea And I actually wonder what this would look like if they actually put some shimmer in it. I think it would actually look quite nice. So I think let's take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is a Dominant Industry ink. Uh, it's a Colt Pens exclusive and it's called Dawn. Can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can see the difference there. Huge difference. Uh, can you see any shading? Uh, you can see some shading in the pooled area, but not a huge amount. Uh, can you see any sheen? There's a little bit of sheen around the edge, but not a huge amount. 
but uh, it's really engulfed by this glitter, this shimmer uh, particular in there. So uh, that does have a lot of shimmer, and you can see it in the writing sample. This is a wet nib, so uh, it is looking a little bit more darker in colour. The next ink here is Dominant Industry and it's Snowfield. This is a regular um, ink from Dominant Industry that you can buy uh, pretty much anywhere that sells Dominant Industry ink. Can you see the difference between a wet or broad or dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can see a huge difference there. Uh, I'd almost say a dry or a narrow writing nib is going to be so faint that you might have difficulty. I think you're going to have to put this in a broad or a stub nib, or a wet medium at, at, at best. Um, but you can definitely see the difference between a wet or broad, or dry or a narrow. Uh, is there any shading going on? There is shading here in the pooled area. I want to say there's a bit of sheen around the edges here, uh, but that shimmer is intense, and you can see that there on the top half more than the bottom half. And also that writing sample, that really is a uh, glittery ink so uh, it's it's a silver particulate uh, in that ink that, that is glistening the next uh, ink here is a dominant industry it's a cult pens exclusive and this is called harvest moon can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib you definitely can uh, this was actually this ink took uh, the longest to dry by far, and it was gradually, gradually getting south and south. I was wondering if I was actually going to have any of the, the narrow or dry uh, area here. Um, can you see any um, shading going on? Um, not really. Maybe a little bit around here where it was the wettest. Uh, is there sheen? There's sheen around the edges here, but it's, it's not a different color sheen. Uh, but then the the shimmer particle you can see there is a huge amount of, of glittery there. And likewise, in that writing sample there as well, you get to see a lot. So uh, this is it's a, it's a nice colored ink. Uh, I thought it went on a little bit almost clear, very similar to the Snowfield. Uh, but uh, I think it redeemed itself towards the end. And then as a comparison, I just wanted to show a, a brighter ink so that not all of the Dominant Industry inks are very light. And it's Dominant Industry Earl Grey Tea. Can you see the difference between a wet or a broad or a dry or a narrow writing nib? You definitely can see the difference. Maybe not as much compared to the other inks, but you can definitely see some difference. Is there any shading uh, going on? Uh, maybe a little bit here in the pooled area, not a huge amount. Uh, is there any sheen? No, not really. Um, the the writing sample there is actually more of a, a dirty or dusty orange uh, that you can see there. So uh, it does actually come out a little bit darker than what the, the wet writing sample is or the ink sample is there. So there you have it. That's my dominant industry inks comparison number three video if there are any of these inks that you like do let me know in the comments below likewise if there are any other inks that you would like me to check out do let me know in the comments below so that's my dominant industry inks comparison number three video thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next pen video Bye bye